Welcome to Low Country Lowdown. I'm Lindsay Hausman. Today is July 24th. Our agency's second annual Junior Deputy Academy is in the books. Last week, nearly 50 rising fifth graders learned all about our agency's divisions, sections, and units. It was a busy week for sure. And then on Friday, the Junior Deputy Cadets graduated from the program in front of their families, we're proud of all they accomplished and learned last week. And to give you a glimpse into the Academy, check out this video that was shared on graduation day. With last week being so hot, we added a little fun at the end of the cadets day on Thursday. Big thank you to Jasper County Fire Rescue. They came out and helped all of us cool off. The ladder truck created a fun and refreshing end to the day. And it wasn't just the cadets who loved it, but the school resource officers who hosted the program got in on the fun too. Investigators are asking for information in connection to a shooting that happened last night at about 9.30 in the area of County Shed Road and Jennings Road in Burton. A car with multiple people inside was hit by gunfire, resulting in several of the occupants being injured. Anyone with information is asked to call Investigator Patron at 255-3440. You can also submit a tip online at bcso.net. Scammers, well, they're at it again. They're calling you and pretending to be with our agency or others, ultimately demanding money. Here are two examples of these scams that we've learned about in the last week. A former Beaufort County resident said that they got a call from someone claiming to be Lieutenant Callendine. The phone number even came up as the Beaufort County Sheriff's Office. It was spoofed. This person had a failure to appear warrant and was told to go to their bank and then withdraw money. Thankfully, this person recognized it was a scam and reported it. Now, the other report was 
someone calling by the name of Lieutenant Woods and that this individual had a warrant for not attending federal court in Atlanta. Money was requested in this case as well. Please know that we will never call you and demand money or personal information. And we urge you to never give out any of that personal information over the phone. Should you ever receive a call like this, please circle around with us by calling our office. You'll likely find out quickly that it was a scam attempt. As always, if you believe that you've been a victim of a scam, report it to us. You can do so by calling our non-emergency dispatch line. That's 524-2777. And on Thursday, Lieutenant Callendine spoke to the senior industry professional of the Lowcountry Group about the ever-evolving scams that we see. The topics included elder fraud and how to protect others. And of course, members of our agency are happy to educate our residents and visitors about information such as crime prevention and scams. If you're interested, please visit our website, bcso.net. Under the Crime Prevention tab, you'll find the Request a Speaker page for more information. Investigators are hoping you can help us find 50-year-old Andre Gomez Gomez. He's wanted on an arrest warrant for criminal sexual conduct with a minor first degree. Investigators say between December of last year and April of this year, Gomez Gomez sexually assaulted an eight-year-old girl. Anyone who may know where he is is asked to call Investigator Seifert at 255-3414. Congratulations to Lance Corporal Diadamo and K-9 Nemex. The two had their first direct capture a few weeks ago on July 4th. Now, K-9 Nemex just turned a year old in February and is our newest K-9 on patrol. Nemex was requested to track a shoplifting suspect who took off after a traffic stop. Lance Corporal Diadamo and Nemex tracked the suspect a little less than a mile before finding him in a bush. As first responders, our job is to be prepared for any call, and that means making some stressful decisions, oftentimes in an instant. In preparation for this, our sworn personnel receive thousands of hours worth of training. Over the past few weeks, members of our agency, as well as other first responders in Beaufort County, have been participating in ALERT. That stands for Advanced Law Enforcement Rapid Response Training. It's a course that provides research-based active shooter responder training, incorporating law enforcement, fire, and EMS to ensure all are training to work together in the event of an active shooter situation. Tomorrow is National Hire a Veteran Day. Come join BCSO and the large number of veterans that we have here on staff. It's a great agency to work for, whether you're interested in becoming a deputy or a professional staff member. Learn more by visiting our recruitment center online. That's bcso.net. Lastly, Let's help out our friends at the South Carolina Highway Patrol. There's less than a week to go in America's best looking cruiser contest. As of Monday, Highway Patrol was in 18th place. To vote, check out the SurveyMonkey link there on your screen, or you can find South Carolina Department of Public Safety on Facebook for the link. Voting ends July 29th. Of course, if you have something that you'd like to know more about or see covered here on Lowcountry Lowdown, you can send me an email at lindsay.houseman at bcgov.net. As always, I encourage you to follow us on all of our digital and social media platforms. It's a great way to stay engaged with us. Thanks for watching this week's episode. We'll see you next week. Stay safe.